Hi everyone, it's Colleen, your Adult Services Librarian here at the Shelby County Public Library. And today, for our book talk, we're going to be talking about new rivals. Interestingly, they're all about illness. So, finally, after a long wait, a lot of our orders have come in, and now we have a fresh batch of new arrivals. They've been flying off of our shelf so quickly, I was only able to get a couple of them. So, if you're interested in these, I would recommend getting them quickly. The first book I want to talk about is The Prettiest Star by Carter Sickles. This is a novel, and it takes place in 1986, shortly after the AIDS epidemic kind of went national in the news. This follows Brian Jackson. He has lived in New York City for the past six years and has returned home to his hometown in rural America after his lover has died from AIDS. Brian is trying to figure out his place back in his hometown after leaving so many of them behind in New York City. It sounds like a very interesting concept of book about a time that we only recently started talking about a bit more in American history. And so if you want to learn a little bit more about the AIDS epidemic and what that was kind of like, I would recommend this. The next book I want to talk about is a memoir, and it is The Lady's Handbook for Her Mysterious Illness by Sarah Rainey. This has been a long time in the making. Rainey has been working on this for years, and it's basically her trying to chronicle her time figuring out what her autoimmune disease is. She tries to find a diagnosis or even just some sort of relief for her symptoms. It sounds pretty interesting and so if you are interested in medical memoirs of interesting diseases or illnesses, I would recommend this. Finally for the last one, it is Hidden Valley Road by Robert Kolker. This was an Oprah's Book Club pick for this year and it's also been on top of the New York Times bestseller list for a while. This book looks into this family of 14, there are 12 kids, and how of the 12, six of them developed schizophrenia and how their family contributed a lot to the current research on schizophrenia and how it develops. And it also tracks the family's history from the marriage of the parents into the current day. There's a lot of sadness in here. Uh, lot of heavy topics, so have to be a little bit ready for it, but if you are, I would recommend this. It really was an interesting look into schizophrenia and how the diagnosis has changed throughout the years and how different it was from when it was first identified back in the early 20th century to today. That's all for me for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed those picks and you come in to pick out a couple of your own. I'll see you next week. Bye.